Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Hearts Round 4 as we are playing with the Dutch. Uh, so, I did release that uh, that uh, new series, Imperator Rome. I kind of forgot the name there for a second. Uh, but yeah, we started playing as Egypt in that. Uh, and so far, it's it's been an enjoyable campaign. Obviously, I only had one video out that I did record episode 2 right before this one. Uh, so hopefully you have gone and checked that out and you enjoyed it, if you did. Uh, it's it's an interesting game, obviously much different than Hunter Mountain 4, but it is a paradox game, uh, which is why I kind of have mentioned it in this series a couple times, you know, that we were going to be playing a new strategy series. Uh, since it is a new paradox game, the first new paradox game that we've actually gotten since Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, this is the last new paradox game two years ago, over two years ago. Uh, what is that? Oh, good God, that's like almost three years ago, because it was June 2016. That's how long it's been since Paradox has created a new game, is this one right here. Uh, and I mean uh, Paradox Development Studio, not the uh, the publisher. Uh, so, so if you go check that out, uh, leave a comment, let me know you're there, and let me know how you feel about the series. And uh, yeah, um, I'll go ahead and link it at the end of this video as well, uh, so you can easily access it. Uh, so let's go and get started, guys. Last episode was a bit rough. Uh, it was it's pretty rough, guys. The Japanese joined the war against us, and that was kind of the breaking point where we're having a lot of trouble. How we're going to try and stay in it as long as we can. We're going to try and kill as many members of the Axis and the Japanese as we can. I'm not giving up yet, guys. I don't feel like uh, I don't even feel like we're anywhere close to needing to give up just yet. I feel like we're we're good. We're all right. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I mentioned this last episode, but we're going to go ahead and open up the passages here. Probably, we're going to open this one temporarily uh, because I'm going to go ahead and move our submarines here. And we're going to go ahead and get these guys going over to here because we are going to put our our ships out into the sea, uh, I think. I think it uh, would be beneficial to to do something here. In fact, you know what? Let's just, we don't even have to do this. We'll go ahead and, I'm going to remove this, this uh, general here, this admiral, excuse me, and move that same admiral over to here. And we're going to use their ships first because remember, these aren't our ships. These are the ships that we got from uh, uh, Norway, I believe. Yeah, uh, we got them from Norway. So let's go ahead and have, we don't need them to go there. Uh, well, we can have them like a sign there, I suppose. And then we're going to have them do convoy raiding in the English Channel. That's that's probably it for right now. We're going to have them set to do the automatic split off as well. I think that would be the best way to do that. Uh, so yeah, they're going to go ahead and open up trade so that we can go ahead and get uh, a bit of uh, equipment and supplies to our, our troops in the Dutch East Indies. Uh, we probably should. Let me just take a look and see how the equipment's doing. Yeah, we're, we're going to need to switch up production as well. Oh, no. Yeah, we lost dockyards here. Yeah, well, that's a problem. Uh, so let's go ahead and switch up the production so that we're, we're focusing more on infantry equipment uh, rather than some of this other stuff here, uh, like so. And do we want to... This is, this is probably good, I suppose. This is a lot worse than I remember this being. We got a lot less equipment than I remember having. All right, um, huh, yeah, maybe because, I guess once supply opens up here, there we go. All right, so yeah, this should make things a little bit better. Now we opened up supply, uh, and then go ahead and get, oh lord, that's still not a lot, really. All right, so we're going to take this down, huh, all right, uh, yeah, this is what we have to do for right now, I suppose. Leave it looking like that, we'll take a look at it again, because uh, I thought that we would have a bit more, um, uh, a bit more we can do there. Uh, maybe we haven't got all the supplies uh, back home just yet. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the Dutch East Indies situation. And we did lose the attack here. Uh, we did cut these guys off here. And we're still waiting for this division to get over there. Three more hours. There we go. Uh, it looks like we would win there. Awesome. So we don't need this guy there. We're going to have him attack over here instead. Uh, these guys couldn't launch an attack here. We have quite a few days, though, before we need to. So that's okay. Uh, in fact, I might go ahead and have this go guy go all the way across there. We're going to go ahead and move our, our ships out here as well. Uh, let's let, send these guys on automatic split off. Yeah, it seems that it is enabled, but yet they're not, not doing it. We're going to go ahead and cancel that. Uh, that's fine. And have them set to high priority for repairing and then convoy rating right out there. And then we're also going to go ahead and have, Jesus Christ, 19 divisions. That's how many divisions they have there. That is a lot. Uh, let's go ahead and take uh, the troops that are here and send two of them over there. I think it'd be worth it. Uh, so we're gonna send two of them over there, and then we're gonna go ahead and send the uh, the submarines that we have stationed here. Uh, send them out as well. They're gonna do a bit of convoy raiding right here, uh, not here. All right. Uh, so that looks good. Probably not gonna put the surface ships out there because I mean it's 18, 18 uh, ships. 
I don't think they would do too well against the Japanese. Also, we have some some uh, uh, submarines here that we can put out there. So let's go ahead and have them do a bit of convoy raiding. Uh, we're gonna have them go all the way out to here. I uh, I don't think. Yeah, they don't have any ports here, so we don't need to do it there. We'll have them doing some convoy raiding over there. See if they can't sink some sink some uh, you know German and British convoys that might be going through there. All right, so our troops are, are fighting here. I almost want to go and pull them back, uh, so we'll have them. You know, they'll, they'll look a little bit stronger when they get here to Rotterdam. And we're gonna go and start moving our troops around a little bit. I noticed that we do not have enough divisions here, guys. This is not as many as I thought we had. Uh, yeah, that is not anywhere near enough uh, divisions for right here. So what we might want to go ahead and do is let's take one of these guys here and move him over to there. Let me see where he goes. Uh, he's decided to go there. That's fine. Uh, so we'll have him go there. This guy's going over here, and I do want him to continue going there. And then let's take a, a couple divisions, a couple of these divisions, actually, and have them move over to here. Uh, the Swiss division is probably not going to do much there. He's looking kind of weak. Let's take uh, these two, then, and move them over here as well. Let's have him go here and him go over here. Because, yeah, they're just not uh, strong enough on this front, I feel. Uh, definitely not strong enough. And in fact, let's go and take one of the divisions that is here and throw him onto this line as well. I don't know where he's going to go. I guess we'll find out. All right, so he's going to go over there. We'll take a look once they move around uh, and try and get the, We're going to try and strengthen that front up, though. That's the point. Uh, because one of the things I'm a little bit worried about is if they ever did launch an attack and they took in these provinces from us, is if you look here, we have to complete this uh, before we lost control. You have to have control of this. That's what I'm trying to say. You gotta have control of this in order to complete that. And we're probably not gonna lose it. We're pretty fortified there. But just in case, guys, I really don't want to lose control of that. Uh, so let's go and make sure we sure up because, God, it took so long for us to do this. And we still got 80 days left. Uh, so that's more than a full focus. Uh, so yeah, definitely want, don't want to, to lose that opportunity. All right, uh, so remember we got our convoys out there, which means they're gonna get all start getting sunk and stuff, unfortunately. Uh, and yeah, we don't have, we only have four dockyards currently working on that right now. All right, so let's go back to go back to the Dutch East Indies. See how the situation is going over here. Uh, see how many days they have left. Uh, three more days, so we got plenty of time before we do that attack. Uh, and let's just take a look at how is the situation going here. We do look like we're losing here, unfortunately. All right, that's a shame. Maybe we'll get these guys there in time. It looks like 20 more hours we'll have them. That should be good enough. Come on, buddy. There we go. All right. And we're still waiting on the other two, which are a matter of 23 hours. We're winning now, though. Uh, so hopefully you can hold that there. Uh, these guys here are about two days and five hours away. Uh, let's go ahead and have this guy get over here. How much longer till he gets here? One day and 20 hours. One day and 22 hours. All right. Well, we're going to let it continue for a little bit longer. We're trying to get that division wiped out. Let's take a look see what we did here. We did sink six convoys there. Awesome. All right. Uh... And more divisions coming. So we suck six convoys. So got something done there. Uh, but I'm hoping that the submarines perform well. Uh, and you can see that they're engaging our convoys, our freight convoys here, and that we are engaging in, t in four of their, their convoys. But they do have a little bit of a fleet there. Just a little bit of a fleet there to try and sink our submarines. Uh, so that's alarming. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and have... Uh, oh, well, we're still moving troops. So we'll have to wait. I did want to move this guy. I don't know why he didn't. I thought I told him to. Now let's go ahead and move him out. That's not that important of a province for us to to guard. Uh, and I don't want to move this guy just yet because I don't know where he's going just yet. I, I suppose we can move him over to here for right now. I got to see what these these uh, fronts are going to look like. It's hard to say. Uh, these guys here did retreat. Uh, they're retreating to Rotterdam. Okay. It's unfortunate, but not uh, unexpected. We'll let them get a little bit stronger and then we'll probably move them here though. Maybe we might want to do that now so they can start entrenching. Did lose 15 convoys already. That didn't take long. Didn't take long, my friends. And let's see what we did over here. Uh, this is a, a victory for us. That's two convoys sunk. Excellent. All right. Um, so yeah, this is, this is how it looks. Uh, how much time do we have left here? 15 hours. Gets here in a little bit of time and they're attacking there. Excellent. Across the river. It's not gonna go well for them. Let's go ahead and attack now. I feel like we, we waited enough time, and we should be able to destroy those two divisions. Uh, that is a Japanese and a Chinese division. Excellent. This guy's done here. Let's go ahead and have him get the railroads over to there now, now that he's done. I'm going to try and wrap those two, two divisions up. And, yeah, not looking too bad, guys. Uh, not looking too bad on the Dutch East Indies front, because we are holding out here, as you can see. Uh, 39 is not great, but, yeah, doing okay. Also sinking troop convoys. 
uh, as well as freight convoys, so super, super helpful. Uh, so let's go ahead and dip back over here and see what's going on here. They're launching attacks into Rotterdam. Okay, good to know. We still don't have the division numbers that I want up here. It's only it's only four. We need more divisions. Uh, how could we do this then? I know that we have divisions coming. We gotta wait for those, of course. We have. Yeah, this is probably good here. We have a number of divisions here that we can send. Uh, so let's go and send a couple of these guys. Let's send, uh, obviously, the ones that aren't entrenched. We're going to want to send... I want to keep, like, six divisions there in Rotterdam. So let's go and take uh, a couple of these divisions here and send them over to... You know what? Actually... Yeah, isn't one of these moving? Yeah, some of these are still moving. So i got to see how many are still going to be there. Oh, because we're being attacked right now. That's why. Uh, they're not pulling back any longer. Got it. So that'd be four, six. So we can move one. One division from over here. So let's go to move... Uh, this guy. All right, so move this guy over to here. And then we'll see how this looks once we get all these divisions over there. Let's take a look at what we sunk. It's like uh, three more Japanese convoys. Those were troop convoys too, so that means we sunk some troops. Awesome. Uh, winning here, fantastic. And we won over here. We did get our anti-tanks as well. Excellent, we're done here for right now. Could work on the night vision next, but we're not going to because what I think we're gonna do is go ahead and get the we're going to go and get the logistic companies to kind of help our divisions over here when they're out of supply, uh, when we're when we're not supplying them because, you know, we don't have any convoys for it. We did sink uh, two uh, convoys there, and we lost two submarines here. That's a shame. All right. Uh, lost 13 convoys right there and 23 convoys. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're losing a lot of convoys. It just doesn't last long, guys. It really doesn't, uh, which is a shame. Let's go and shut down uh, any convoys going through there. Uh, and yeah, they're engaging more and we're losing our convoys so fast guys. It's ridiculous how fast we lose those convoys Let's take a look. Uh, it does look like we started getting our supplies here. Excellent. Let's go ahead and uh, Once again, I don't want too many supplies going to us uh, But we will go and use our, our steel. We, we're trying to get the infantry equipment into a better place Because uh, right now it's it's not in a good place. So let's Try and build. Okay. That was a bit too much Let's do, how are we looking on, on the support? Equ support equipment is, is actually all right. Uh, so let's pull back on that and try and get the infantry equipment looking a little bit better. Uh, like so. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work, guys. Holding out here, doesn't even look like they're attacking anymore. Let's go and take one of the divisions, the ones that's least entrenched, and throw him over here to protect that province. So we'll have two, one, two, and one. Uh, and plus we have the, the American divisions there. All right, so these guys are now done. Let's go and get them moving to the ports here. And yeah, I think we're just gonna protect the ports in this area is what I'm thinking. I'd like to move more divisions down here, guys, but I think it might be a bit much. We could go ahead and deploy these guys as soon as they get done. Yeah, you know what? That's what we'll do. And then we will move this guy down here. Have him take the railroads over here. Send that division that way. And then this guy here will protect right there. All right, excellent. Yeah, we're gonna have to deploy those div divisions. I wish I could just play a, deploy a few of them, um, but yeah, that doesn't, hmm, wait a minute. There might be something we can do. So, interesting. I've got a plan, guys. I've got a plan. All right, so what I'm gonna do, uh, it looks like they don't have any infantry equipment. Yeah, but I got an idea. Uh, we're going to see if we can't make this happen. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, see how we're looking on these fronts. Seeing if we're as strong as we need to be. Why are the Americans pulling out? Like, what are they doing? Yeah, the Americans are pulling back. That's really odd. Yeah, I couldn't tell you why they're pulling out. Where's this guy going? Okay, he's going over that front. Still waiting on a lot of divisions to get to their fronts. And then this guy's going... Okay. This guy's going up to there. Got it. I feel like we're, we're pretty strong down here. Um, I almost want to move one of them up here. Yeah, because we're at four, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're eight when we're only at four on these ones. All right, so let's go and move ones that aren't that entrenched then. Some of the ones we just got here. Like, uh, not that guy. He's he's entrenched. All right, so it's going to be one of these brown ones. I suppose this one. Let's go move him over here then. And this is two, three, four, five. Okay. Let's take a look and see what we sunk. Uh, we've gotten three more Japanese convoys sunk. Excellent. Uh, and we are engaging more troop convoys there. And we are holding out here strong. Excellent. Happy to see that. 
no attacks really here. Let's take a look and see how many convoys we lost. And yeah, they're sinking convoys. Got it. 15 convoys. Ugh, good God, guys. Uh, and three more convoys sunk there. Excellent. Okay, uh, we can deploy those units. Let's go ahead and do that now. And I know that this is going to be a little bit rough uh, on supply. However, I have an idea. I'm going to see if this works. So we're going to take, because we do have a little bit too many divisions here, I think. Uh, this is going to cause supply problems if we send them all over to there. Uh, but I do feel like we could we could use a couple more. Uh, we currently have, this guy's taking the railroads over there. And we can't put all of them here. What we're going to have to do is take two of them and put them into like their own little army here. And just give them a commander, I suppose. Uh, somebody who, maybe the engineer, fortress buster, just somebody who would actually help. Trickster. All right, I suppose the best one would be the engineer. All right, so what we're gonna do with these guys is we're gonna take one and put them up here, and then one and put them up here. So we have a division coming here, excellent. Uh, and then we can take we can take all four of these and move them down there, but I'm worried that that's gonna cause some problems, so probably shouldn't do that. And we got two going up that way. Let's just have this guy go here then. And then these four, they'll all move over to here then. All right, so bring those four over there and try and hold out here, see if that helps. Oh yes, that's right. I was going to actually take one of these and see if this does result in us getting infantry equipment. That's what I'm thinking is, I wonder if we can exchange infantry equipment from the Dutch East Indies to us uh, by doing this. Uh, of course, we could also ask them for their equipment. That's always a possibility as well uh, to try and fix that. So we're currently short a total of, uh, what's this, 2.01 thousand right now. Okay, uh, we're also attempting to deploy another unit there with, with Belgium, which does use our equipment. I'm gonna see if we can't take uh, one of these divisions here. Let's grab the bottom one and see if this, I don't know how much infantry equipment he has. Let's just take a look, he currently has 1,000, so we should be able to see that, that number up there. Let's delete him, disband him, and then it, I'm going to try and see if this will go into our equipment. I, I know the manpower probably won't. Or did it go back to them? It might have went back to them. All right, well, no, oh, wait a minute. No, it looks like it did. It did go to us, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that might be one way to exchange equipment quickly uh, without having to do, you know, where they it goes through the seas. Yeah, interesting. Hmm. All right, that fixed our infantry equipment problem a little bit. Awesome. Uh, so now we're just sending three divisions. I think that should be enough. That'll be seven divisions over here. Hopefully it'll be enough to hold that. All right, let's take a look at what we sunk here. We got, th oh, whoa, nice. All right, with a little bit of help, uh, we sunk three destroyers there. Uh, we don't have uh, an admiral for these two submarines, by the way, which is a shame. Uh, but we only have so many admirals. Uh, and I mean, we, got, we could always use the political power to get another one, I suppose, but it's like two submarines. It's it's fine, guys. It's fine. All right, so how are we looking here now? Uh, we are now at, all right, let me just take a look here. So they're going there, they're going there, and these guys should go. Let's take this guy here and have him go up there, and then this guy can go here, because it's a little bit quicker. Just trying to shore this up a bit. All right, so they're attacking there and losing. Ha-ha. And we lost three more convoys. We're sitting at 109, guys. It's We're losing them. It's a shame. Uh, nothing really to be done about it, though. Winning here. And they are attacking across the river as well. Uh, but they are not going to be successful. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see how many casualties we cause. It's always kind of exciting. Get all giggity. Gig gig <laughs> trying to see uh, how many casualties we cause the enemy. Uh, and all right, we do have these guys here. We can go ahead and send them... Send them now. I think we'll have time to entrench. Let's go and get this guy some experience. Uh, we'll just leave. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me do that again. That's right. I know that he's got the entrenchment. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and send him. We'll just leave one of the, the bottom ones here. Let's go and send these guys. And it seems that I actually did too many. One too many. All right. Let's go that way. All right. We'll let him get a little bit of experience. Try and help us hold that, that front. See how well that goes. Let's take a look what happened over here. We sunk six Japanese convoys. Excellent. Let's go ahead and see. We lost five convoys, though. Ah. All right. Uh, over here, we sunk one German convoy. 
And here I'm sure we lost more convoys. 23 and 3. Good God. We're down to 85, guys. We're going to have to shut down supply here soon. Yeah, there's not really any way around it. Currently looking at a lot more days to get that completed as well. That's a shame. All right. So still waiting on one more division here. I'm just trying to take a look at our current uh, situation. We have five, six there. Uh, three, four, five here, five there. Uh, we will have this guy's going over to here. I don't know if that'll make any adjustments. We have six there now. Uh, four, five, six, seven here. Two, three, four, five there. Ooh, that's not quite how I want that. And yeah, we could use a little bit, at least one more division over there. Three, four, five, six here. So maybe one more division here. Yeah, perhaps. Yeah, instead of this guy going, or you know what we could do is take one of the divisions that's here. This guy who doesn't have as much entrenchment and send him up this way and then one of the ones that is here once again one of the ones that doesn't have as much entrenchment this guy and send him over there I'm just trying to balance this the best that i can two more convoys sunk excellent i uh, just trying to strengthen up that front though uh and they did launch an attack there they fell though i don't know where that was seemed like it was one of these provinces all right they're attacking look like they're attacking rotterdam apparently not or it was really short uh four more convoys lost we're down to 82 convoys guys all right, trying to get the supply situation fixed as well. And we're just going really, really slow, guys, because I'm trying to manage these fronts, and I want to make sure we don't lose anything here. And just paying attention to the convoys as well as we just lose them in rapid numbers, unfortunately. Six convoys there sunk. That's good. Uh, and we now have seven divisions here. One of them's retreating, trying to hold out here, having some difficulty. Uh, one guy did have to retreat. And, you know, what? I'm just going to send them right back because by the time they move and stuff, uh, I think they do They do get their organization up enough um, by the time they move back and uh, from this province and then back. Uh, it seems like the organization gets up high enough. Down to 72 convoys, just lost three more. All right, I think... I want to say we're going to have to go ahead and shut down supply, guys. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and shut down supply. We will keep those submarines that are out there. They can keep operating there, I suppose. I don't know if they'll stay out there or what they'll do. Uh, but yeah, we do have to shut down supply out here again. Uh, this is losing too many convoys, guys. And, and we, you know we're going to lose some of those uh, as it is. All right. So I think we're at our current, uh, current front, the way this is going to look. So five divisions here, six here, uh, five here, four, five, six. Oh, all right. We have seven here, so we can actually move one. Four, five, six there, three, four, five, six there. All right, and six there. All right, so I think we should probably move one to right here then. Uh, let's go ahead and move one of these guys. Uh, the one that doesn't have as much. Oh, they, they both got some entrenchment going now. All right, well, let's go ahead and move uh, this guy then. Try and shore that up. Rotterdam is the one that's doing the most fighting, so I almost feel like we should move another one there. I, I, I kind of want to pull back from here, but I want to make them fight me for it. <laughs> so not just give it to them, you know what I mean? Uh, what do we have available here? Uh, we got some more extractions. I, I want to say that there's not really any reason to continue doing these extractions because you can't build the troops right now. I mean, I guess we'll do the Swiss because they don't have any manpower, so why not? We'll do those ones, but I think that's going to be the last one that we do. And then we're going to start saving our, our... We can. There might be some generals that we could we could tick up if we had a bit of uh, command power. So we'll take a look at that, or some admirals, especially now, now that we got uh, got this going here. Uh, so this guy's going back. He'll be there in a few days. Uh, we're having to defend there. And they did launch an evasion here. All right. Luckily, we have plenty of troops here to help us out. All right. Let's go ahead and, and I guess this guy is the entrenched guy, the purple one. So these ones will be doing the, uh, the attacks here. What we'll do is have... I almost want to let them go ahead and attack there. Let's go and send both these guys across the river then. It's going to take them a little while to get there. A couple days. All right. Yeah, they're sending a bunch of troops over here. But remember, they don't have any supply. Uh, they're attacking us there. Yeah, they're going to attack there. All right. But let's find... I, I don't like how there's... Yeah, this is not looking good. All right, they sent a, a bunch of troops. Good God. All right, let's go and get another division coming over here. We should probably send these ones now too. Uh, these guys that we have up here. Let's go and get them going down to the south here to help us out. So we did uh, sink two convoys there. Excellent. Uh, and we lost a submarine and sunk a convoy. Okay. Uh, we got a research slot available. Uh, let's go and get excavation because we got that construction so we can build a little bit quicker. And I completely forgot. Damn it. We're supposed to be building factories up here. Or excuse me, uh, uh, fortifications up here. Fuck shit, private. 
All right, uh, so that's a shame that I forgot about this. Uh, we need to build more fortifications. We do not have anywhere near enough, and we have none right here. So let's go ahead and build there in case we have to retreat to that province. We'll get up to like level three. And then I kind of want to start building like level six around here, uh, like especially Rotterdam. Although, yeah, that's Cross River, so yeah, it's still a regular fort. So let's build one Rotterdam whenever they can get it built. And then also here, let's try and get up to level six all the way across, I suppose. Yeah, uh, see, see what we can get done. And one more. All right, uh, so did waste a little bit of time on that. That was unfortunate. I forgot about the fact that I was gonna build those fortifications. Uh, did lose more, 18 more convoys, but I think we'd already lost those, yeah. So we're at 74 right now. 74 convoys, guys. Uh, this is gonna mean we have to change up the production again. Uh, so let me just take a look. Probably should focus on infantry equipment. Yeah, let's just go and take it down. So, and just try and get it so we actually are building something there. Good God, yeah, we got like nothing here. <laughs> yeah, not much here, guys, but we'll, this is the way we'll make it look, I, I guess. I mean, this is this is fine for right now. I Maybe mean, we'll change that here in a little bit. Did sink three more convoys there. Awesome. And they're not even attacking us there. Such a bummer that I can't really do anything with those divisions because uh, you can't move them. I'd love to get them back home, but anywhere we move them, they'll just get sunk. So no point. No point, guys. So they're doing naval invasion there, doing uh, attacks there, which they're filling in. Uh, and we are trying to get our troops here uh, to deal with these guys. All right, they're almost there. Keep on launching those attacks. They're not going to succeed across the river there. Uh, and we did get our division there. Awesome. Uh, so hopefully we can get these guys wiped out. Remember, they don't have any supply. Uh, and we're moving more divisions down here as well. And then we got this guy coming across. So we're going to see if we can't wipe these guys out. Uh, and we will need to bring a division over here. I don't know how long it's going to take for him to get across that river if we can beat him there. Um, not quite. No, not quite, guys. Let's go ahead and have this guy take the railroads all the way over here. Then. Oh, nope, not that way. Damn it. Oh, he's still on railroads. Let's go like this. There we go. Excellent. So we need to finish that up. And yeah, look at him tripping out. He's doing a little dance. He's doing a little jig. He's so happy. Uh, we lost another submarine here. That's a shame. Uh, and we got, we're going to leave this submarine out there, the, those Norwegian submarines. I feel bad for Norway because we're using their submarines like that. But Oh, you know what? We have submarines over here too we can put out into the seas. Let's do that. Let's have them do convoy raiding in these two. Maybe they'll sink something. I don't know. Just trying to cause them trouble wherever we can in Mexico. Just capitulated. Fantastic news. All right, let's go and dip over there and see what's going on. All right, so Mexico just capitulated. So that should help America out. You know, they'll lose all those divisions that they're defending. Uh, I think they had divisions over here they might have lost as well. All right, so that's a little win. A little tiny win, not much of one, but we'll take them where we can get them. This is a massive invasion over here, guys. They sent a lot of troops. Uh, this guy can now go across the river. We could also launch the attack to stop him so that this guy can get to where he needs to get to. When would we get here? Oh, we get there in one day and eight hours. All right, yeah, we'll just go ahead and do that and then launch the attack from over there. Waiting on this division as well. Uh, these guys can now also launch some attacks here. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's try and cut off these guys from the other ones and then the other ones here while well, we're currently defending so we can't do anything. Let's go ahead and attack from this way. All right, so that looks pretty good. Should be able to wrap all these divisions up and destroy them. It's a total of two, three, four, or five, and then how many are there? Uh, so this is a good win here. And we got another one of these events. For political power, we can build military civilian factories faster in dockyards. Yeah, we'll do that. Sounds like a great deal. Currently, uh, looks like 51 days away from getting that national focus. So hopefully we can get that done, guys. Uh, let's go and dip back. I guess I could be using it this way. Make it go a little bit quicker. Uh, holding Rotterdam okay. Uh, but you notice that the organization in Rotterdam is kind of getting lower. We might need to send them another division. Uh, maybe send them a division from here is what I'm thinking. Take one of these guys and move him over there. Or we can take one of these two. Yeah, it might be wiser to take like the one who just got here. Kind of shore up Rotterdam a little bit. Okay. Yeah, but I do want to keep like six divisions in each of these provinces so that we can hold them if the Germans ever launch an attack. As of right now, they haven't decided to do so, but they're only attacking this way. Uh, but I do want to make sure that we're as strong there as we can be. 
Uh, and so let's go and dip back over here, and it does look like we are in fact actually losing there. All right, well that's kind of surprising. Uh, well, let's let our organization get up here. We'll keep on attacking there. I feel like we'll eventually win. And then we're also getting this guy going across here. And we just entered into April. And he gets there in a day and one hour. All right. Attacking across rivers. Silly, silly attacks they're doing here. All right, so we won here. Excellent. Let's go ahead and attack this way. And a good thing, too, because they are launching it. Oh, they got a division there. They got five divisions coming over here. All right, well, that's not good. And this is a port that they could get. Okay, then. So we're going to need to shore that up, then. Uh, we'll have to bring this guy over there. When does he get there? How long does it take? Two days and nine hours? If we had retreat there, yeah, that wouldn't be good. All right, so let's go ahead and have this guy attack, then. And see if we can't finish this up so we can reinforce those guys because they're having some difficulty. Uh, although it is now looking like it's successful, but I do feel like we should bring another division over there. Let's bring this guy over here now. Winning there, and these guys can now attack up here. Try and at least stall them out. Getting those guys destroyed, just barely holding out right there. Uh, taking a look at the current situation here in the seas, sunk a Japanese convoy. Awesome. 19 divisions there. Good God, that's just so many. It's like, that's, that's a lot. A lot of divisions. Let's go and send this guy back. Over here, holding out on that naval invasion. Yeah, just Japanese naval invasions all over the damn place. And what the hell happened over here? What the... Okay. Uh, that's interesting. Because they're not aligned now. Maybe something to do with the British focuses? Huh, that's interesting. Yeah, they're, they're a different color. So... Holding out here. Remember, we have those fortifications uh, there. They're not launching any attacks, so we're okay for now. Uh, looking at this, we did sink one convoy there and trying to sink some more troop convoys. That's kind of our way of trying to help out here. The Americans launching an attack there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the situation here. So far, not launching any attacks just yet, except for the Rotterdam one, which they're really keen on attacking. But we do need to get somebody over to help the Rotterdam troops out. Uh, and India canceled Lend Lease, which makes sense because we don't have any troops over there. Or we, excuse me, we don't have the seas open. My bad. That's what I meant to say. And what the hell are they doing? Oh, they are pulling back in mass. All right, well, we're not going to give up our entrenchment attack, guys. Are they at war with... No, not at war with uh, France yet. Yeah, they just pulled all their troops off. Look at them all go. Where the hell are they going? Are they just moving around the front or something? Bouncing around the front? Yeah, they left this wide open. Holy shit, Batman. Ah, I'm so tempted, guys. I'm absolutely tempted right now, but I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it, guys. Now, let's not play around, not until we get this. Uh, because the other focuses don't need us to control both, I think. Yeah, I think these only require us to hold Holland. Yeah, but this one does require us to hold this state here, so I don't want to lose it. By doing attacks and losing our entrenchment. It takes so long to get the entrenchment up. Yeah, we'll just wait. I don't know what they're doing. It wouldn't take long for Germany to send a bunch more divisions over here anyways. Uh, so we did sink two convoys but lost two submarines. All right, losing the submarines now. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, they got some ships over here, guys. Let's sink another convoy there. Holding out here. Let's take a look at the situations going here. It looks like we did wrap this up. Excellent. Yeah, good to see. Uh, let's go ahead and have this division now. Are they attacking up this way yet? They are not. All right, well, let's go ahead and have uh, this guy come over this way then. And then we're going to send this guy back home. I don't think we need all of them over here now. Come on over there. All right, send him back home. Went in here. And those are wiped out. Awesome. Let's go and get this guy moving back over here. We'll have him take the railroads. It could be worth it. And then this guy go over here. And then this guy is going over there. Awesome. So we succeeded. We succeeded in repelling... That Japanese invasion destroyed all those divisions. Really excited to see how the casualties looking for what we've done this episode. Don't know where the hell the Germans went. Uh, they have more divisions though. They brought them back. All right. Yeah. See, it wouldn't even. It would have been worth it. Oh, they're attacking right here. Okay. Well, I'm willing to fight for it. It is green. We'll keep on fighting there, guys. Make them. Make them work for it. But them taking that wouldn't be entirely bad because that allows us to put more divisions on these other provinces here. We're just trying to kill as many as we can on these attacks here, as usual, of course. Let's go and take a look uh, at the convoys we sunk. Three there, huh? and one there. Awesome. 
Still winning here, but not as well. Yeah, we're about to lose that, actually. Yeah, now that I'm seeing it, it does seem that we are about to lose. So let's go and bring three more divisions over there. How long will it take for them to get there? Quite a while. Quite a while, guys, because they don't have any damn supply. All right. Oh, and the Japanese are behind us. Oh, shit. <laughs> and they can cut all these guys off. Wow. That was a smart move. I mean... I keep implying that the, the you know that the AI is being smart, but they're just they're just launching invasions. But okay, so the Americans are gonna go over there. How would be the best way to do this? Yeah, it does feel like we're gonna lose that. What happens if we attack here? Would we win? We would not. But what we could do is take one division and have him go over to here. It does seem like we are gonna lose that province, unfortunately. It is what it is, though, guys. There's no real right way around it right now. We do have to keep these divisions here, defending against the other naval invasions uh, that the Japanese throw at us. Uh, Sunking so more troop convoys there. It almost feels like we should probably bring another division here, but I am worried about further invasions here uh, that they could throw at us. Let's go ahead and take one of them, though, because we're kind of in a situation where we have to and get him coming down here. All right, just trying to lock them down. Remember, they don't have any supply. No, neither do we, though, so that's something to consider as well. Just barely holding out right there. All right, let's take a look at the situation here. Make sure everything's looking pretty good. Yeah, production, I mean, it's not looking good. Production looks garbage. Uh, yeah, we are probably gonna lose there. But we had to have killed a lot, you'd think. I mean, it's kind of yellow now. And what happened? Was the Soviet Union defeated? That's what it seems like. But didn't they need to defeat India? Yeah, Soviet Union was defeated. France only took two states. Germany took 80 and Legionnaire Romania took 64. Not entirely sure what happened over here. Let's just take a look. Okay, so uh, Italy is now communist. Uh, they're gonna be on the French side now. Awesome. Uh, they also have Austria and the Democratic People's Republic of Slovenia. Of course, they still have Poland as well. Uh, Romania took a ton of territory. Good God, look at that. Romania is a beast. They're a monster. Germany has the whole top here. All right, interesting. Interesting development there, guys. All right, so, yeah, that's bad. Um, it, one good thing might result out of this is that France and Germany could end up going to war now since they're not both fighting the same country. You know, France is just fighting Japan. Germany is not fighting Japan. So that could uh, result in them now finally going to war with each other. So that could be one good, um, you know, result of this whole thing. But overall, think about all those German and Romanian divisions that are gonna start pumping over here to our front. We are the only front the Germans have now. Like, that's it. There's no other fronts, just us. So these numbers here, guys, you know, five divisions, six divisions. This is gonna be like 15 to 20 divisions. <laughs> oh man, in each province, by the way. Yeah, that's gonna get really, really bad. Uh, they're not doing any attacks over here yet. Kind of getting these guys going down south here. Of course, situation here is, is pretty bad. Uh, we did do okay there um yeah we're holding out here as well we're still still winning there because uh, we got the filipino help but yeah i don't know how long that's going to continue honestly all right trying to keep those guys locked down while we get this division over here i don't know how much how long it takes for yeah they'll get there in one day in seven hours so if we lose yeah all right the americans have pulled back as well they know they're about to get cut off <laughs> They said, yeah, we should probably pull back here. All right, sinking or fighting some some ships there. That's not sinking. That's us getting sunk, more than likely. Uh, just taking a look at how many ships we have left. Yeah, we only have three submarines there, six submarines there. These two are still holding out here. The two up there, and then the one that is right there. That's it. That's what we got. All right. So... Uh, Rotterdam is able to kind of get their organization up for a little breather they got there. We did hold out here. Awesome. All right, that's good news. And they're once again pulling all the damn divisions off. I don't, I don't know what they're doing. We can deploy this guy finally. Took him long enough. Let's go ahead and get him out here then. Uh, let's deploy him right there and deploy. All right, and then we'll just go ahead and take him and place him into, I guess this army, the brown army here. So this guy can go, I almost want to put him into Rotterdam since that's where all the fighting is. We'll let him get his organization up first though, and then we'll put him over there. Uh, and he does have uh, the ability to be ticked up maybe. So we'll take a look once we get the, oh, wait a minute, it's 15 command power. That's right. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, nice. All right, let me see if anybody else has anything. This guy does not. 
That guy doesn't. I will do these two. All right. So let's go ahead and give him uh, the well. Hmm. We're not gonna be doing any attacking or much attacking anyway. Let's go ahead and do ambush here. I think that'd be the best thing for our troops. Uh, they get you know the max entrenchment a little bit higher. Uh, and we did lose another submarine. Well, that's a shame. All right, still able to hold them for right now. It looks like we might have even destroyed one. Yeah, I think we destroyed one of those divisions. Uh, almost there. Three more days. Uh, but remember, it only takes them... Oh, they get there as soon as we lose this attack. Oh, man, that is bad. Huh. Yeah, we cannot lose that attack, guys. Shit. Or we get completely cut off here. And that would be really, really bad. I mean, given they don't have supply yet, um, but it cuts all our guys off here, and yeah, man, this is this is really bad. The Filipinos are the only ones holding off right there. Uh, we did sink three more convoys there, uh, but overall, yeah, it's 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 not looking good uh, down there on our southern defense right now. It's looking pretty bad overall. All right, uh, so just gonna play a little bit longer here. They're attacking us here again, and we're able to defend again. Luckily. Let's take a look at how this guy's organization is looking. We'll go ahead and let it get all the way up before we actually assign him to Rotterdam. Yeah, they're just moving troops all over the damn place. I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they're confused with the whole Soviet Union uh, capitulating thing. I don't know. It's got to be something to do with that, you'd think. Uh, so let's take a look. They did. They, they won here, guys. And I don't think we'd get there in time. And they're attacking there. All right. So now is time. We'll let these guys back up here. We're going to have to, remember we have forts here. Uh, we have to take the, make sure we don't move the division uh, that's entrenched there. Let's take a look at entrenchments here. 5%, 5%, 2%, 2%. All right, so the two that have 2%, let's have them attack over this way. We also have this guy. Let's go and get him moving over here. All right, they're going to attack across the river. That's stupid. That's okay. Let them exhaust themselves. That's all right. That is all right. I'm a little bit worried about this. I really don't think we'll be able to hold off here, guys. I think we're pretty much done for uh, here in the Dutch East Indies. Unfortunately, we put up quite the fight. Uh, we'll be able to continue fighting for a long time, I think, and, and killing more Japanese. But overall, yeah, this is uh, now that they've taken this. And these guys are just not going to be strong enough here. How long does it take for them to get across? Oh, that's a long time. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up, friends. How long does this take for a division to get here? Ah, too long. <laughs> All right, never mind. I thought maybe. Yeah. Oh, they're five days now. It's five days. Never mind. So, yeah, there was no way we were going to get that done. All right, let's take a look here, see what we sunk. Sunk more convoys. Awesome. All right, so they're going to lose there. We're getting another division here to come help us. This guy will go ahead and take the back here so that they won't be able to uh, retreat. Uh, and then we'll go and launch an attack as well uh, to go ahead and try and defeat those guys. Uh, but we'll have to wait until we're a little bit more uh, powerful to do it. I'd like to get them at least destroyed if we can. Man, it's such a bummer that we lost this here. Are any of these divisions, do they have enough organization to, to do anything? Not really. They're all pretty weak overall. You do have a few more convoys. We could open up supply for like brief little while. Uh, launch another invasion there that they're gonna lose in. All right. So I believe that's just about the end of the episode. We did hold out here, so that's pretty good. So the the situation in Europe is the same. Nothing has changed this episode except for losing that island, which we knew when we ended this that we were gonna lose that. Uh, so pretty much exactly the same. Uh, the organization here is almost up. Let's go ahead and send them now, I suppose. Let me see how long it'll take them to get there. Yeah, that might be enough time for him to build the organization all the way up to the top. And yeah, the situation there is good, but the situation here in Dutch East Indies is, is not. It's not good, not at all. It's pretty bad uh, overall. Uh, so they did lose here. I'm gonna try. Oh, they got there in time. Well, 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 maybe I should have been moving there. I, I kind of regret not moving there now. Let's see if we can't get some troops over there. We will try. I, I wanna make sure that we have some entrenched divisions here though. So let's go ahead and take these guys out. Move that guy, these guys over to here. None of these guys have organization, by the way, because they're all cut off from supply. And these guys are exhausted. <laughs> uh, but we can get supply back. Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to get there in time. Yeah, these guys did lose. All right, never mind. Probably shouldn't have moved at all. Two days. Yeah, there's no way. We've got to get this... this uh, Supply back opened up, guys. 
It just takes them so long to move anywhere here because they, none of them have any damn supply. I almost want to go ahead and have him take the railroad. You know what? It would be faster for him to take the railroad over there. Yeah, and then let his organization get back up. That's how... how yeah, look at that. It's so much quicker. And then you, of course, can't attack yet because you got to wait. Uh, before you're able to launch the attack and wait till your organization get high enough. But, yeah, I think that was the more efficient way of doing this. There we go. And then we'll try and take that, see if he can't get there before him. Three days, four hours. Three days and 15 hours. It's irrelevant. But we want to go ahead and get him moving because if they get here and then they attack us, then that would lock that division down. And then we wouldn't be able to open up supply. And those divisions would get destroyed. All right, so there's like two more convoys over there. And that's the current situation, guys. It's, it's, it's bad. The Soviet Union out of it. If France doesn't come in soon... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the casualties, and then we're going to be ending the episode. Uh, so we have taken 74,000 total, uh, 69,000 by the Germans. Um, none by the Japanese because we don't have any troops over there. We, we're using Dutch East Indies troops. And we have taken 142,000 casualties when it comes to the Dutch East Indies. And um, looks like we've done 22,000 to Japan. Uh, or just, excuse me, Japan has done 22,000 to us. All right, so we want to want and remember that when we look at the Japanese situation. So total, uh, about I think we had done a, we had taken two hundred thousand casualties when I looked at this last episode. Uh, so now we're looking a little bit higher than that. Uh, not much. It's about what sixteen thousand. That's, that's yeah, looks about sixteen thousand uh, casualties is what we took this episode. Uh, Burma, 41,000. Let's kind of scroll through here so you guys can see everybody's casualties. Let's take a look at the enemy. Uh, 1.15 million casualties over here uh, for the Germans. Uh, we did 615,000 of that. It's a lot. Uh, all these numbers have changed. Of course, the Soviet Union aren't into the, they're not in the war anymore. Taking a look at uh, Great Britain, 824,000. Quite a bit. Uh, 459,000 from the U.S. and 240,000 from us. Uh, United States has only done 75,000 to the Germans. Uh, did a lot to the Emu Empire. 59,000 casualties there. Uh, let's see, 33,000 for New Zealand. A lot of that done by America. Romania, 39,000. Venezuela, 242,000. We did 141 of that. Uh, Spain, uh, 156. We did 34 of that. And Japan, this is the one I want to look at. 541,000 casualties. We did 203. So pretty damn good trade-off, guys, for what we've lost here, uh, which is 22,000. 22,000 for 200. Uh, 200 and... Good God, where the hell is that? 203,000. Almost 204. So pretty damn good job, I would say. Plus, that's not even... That's just with us. Uh, if you look at all the other ones we'd be killing, 68,000 for the Yunnan Free Empire, China, essentially. Uh, 4.3 4 there. Uh, another... No, we didn't do anything to them. Another 15... So 16,000 there. Uh, 36,000 there. I mean, yeah. I mean, we've done significant casualties, these guys, uh, for, for a pretty good trade-off. So that's the only way, thing that we can do is try and drain their damn manpower. Uh, there's not really much else I can I can do in this, this conflict because uh, we're, yeah, we're kind of just waiting for the Americans to do something. Uh, it looks like they're still having trouble here. Yeah, it's just, it's just, uh, America is just useless, guys. <laughs> they're not even, they're not even going to wrap this up, for Christ's sakes. Uh, so... Pretty desperate situation, but as you guys saw, I don't, I don't know when we started this episode. I think it's only been, I mean, we played pretty slow, uh, and so it's only been a couple months here. Uh, but at, over the last couple months, uh, I think that uh, we had some victories, we had some losses, sunk a bunch of convoys. Uh, but most importantly, I feel like we've we've kind of lost the Dutch East Indies eventually. Uh, we'll fight as long as we can here, fight as hard as we can, try and cause as many casualties. There's some great points where we can set up some nice defenses, like right here, for instance, as they attempt to, to move up here. We might even be able to set a defense across here if we could build our fortifications fast enough. Uh, but again, though, I'm kind of concentrating on building fortifications over here right now. Uh, and I think that should be our priority. Uh, just looking at it, uh, we're at level six there. Excellent. Trying to get the level six of the other, these other provinces here. Uh, so that's really going to help us out uh, in Europe. And that should really be our priority, I think, rather than building fortifications over here where it's kind of a lost cause uh, overall if you look at it because we can't get supply to them because uh, of our lack of convoys. Uh, but I hope that you guys did enjoy the episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I uh, hope to see you on that Imperator Rome Egypt series. Uh, definitely an interesting game, kind of combination of uh, other Paradox games. 
Uh, very similar to EO4 though in a way, uh, but it has a little bit of CK2, a little bit of, uh, eh, I don't know, I was going to say a little bit of uh, Victoria 2 in there because of the pops, but I think that might be uh, giving them a little bit too much because the pops are kind of simple uh, in my opinion. But yeah, it, a lot of a different combination of elements from different games uh, in that one. So uh, hope to see you on that one and, and hope to see you on the next episode of this series. And thanks for watching, guys.